Hi, I haven't made a video in a while and uh, it's always bugged me that the first video I made was all shaky and everything and it just really bugged the heck out of me. So I'm doing like a redo. Um, I'm down still in my basement and uh, long story short, uh, we've been doing remodeling and stuff like that. I haven't gotten around doing the basement yet. So here's an update of my collection to show you some things change, some things are still the same. These are uh, bus. This is my Sin City uh, Library Edition. This is a, a print of Molly's Esquire Stories that I had framed. Uh, another framed picture. It's kind of cool looking. If you recognize that character from the HBO show. And another one. Um, I just recently went to a convention down in North Carolina, the Heroes Convention. And these are the books that I brought. I haven't had a chance to sort them out and file them yet. I didn't get around to it. <sighs> Uh, more statues, more Batman stuff. This is my um, Women of DC. I just finished it a while back. All the different characters. Underneath that is the Absolutes. And over here is like the hardcover Marvel stuff. Uh, my set from uh, Kingdom Come. I uh, never. All the different characters that were that they made. Uh, Grendo. These are the artist editions. Um, some of them are the Thor, the Spider Man, the Daredevil. The other ones, the Wednesday's comic books and Muhammad Ali vs. Superman. Uh, my Hot Wheels set. Uh, more statues, figures, my Star Trek cup. And here we have uh, Tom McFarlane characters. The ones that I like. I have a whole bunch of them. Actually, I'm getting rid of a bunch of them. Here's the Thor statue section. And over here, we have more Marvel uh, hardcovers. You can see the, the titles. My collection to date is now a little over 12,000 books. Um, last time, I think I was like a little over 9,000. I'm a little over 12,000 now. Here's the Red Hulk and the Bronze version of the Hulk. These are my little psychopedias that I have. More Omnibus. Um, these are soft cover Marvel that I uh, different titles. Um, Neo from Matrix and these are some vertical stuff most of those are vertical or independent stuff and what we have here oh sorry uh, my Punisher statue Ghost Rider and that is the Black Cat and just some old movies that I like to watch when I'm down here. Soft cover Marvel. Uh, more fallen characters, busts, statues, soft hardcover DC stuff. JLA, great series. Starman, uh, JLA International, uh, Kirby stuff. And stuff in there. More McFallen characters. 
and uh, books, Tom McFarlane character, uh, Batman books, uh, Punisher, Big Gap, because I ordered some statues I'm making room for. This is the Hulk, uh, Mr. Fix-It statue. Uh, Sandman, bookends, another Tom McFarlane character pointing a gun at you. Another Tom McFarlane character. Uh, more mad stuff. And these are soft cover independents. You know, Spawn. A whole bunch of different stuff. You can probably make out some of the titles on there. Uh, hard cover Marvel stuff. Uh, Captain America collection. Making space for some more statues. Uh, these are soft cover DCs, I think. And Conan Terminator. What is probably my very first graphic novel, the Sons of An uh, Sons of Origins, uh, Bring on the Bad Guys, original Marvel comic, blah blah blah. Soft cover stuff. Ugh, spawn. Autograph stuff. Uh, Wolverine statues. More autograph stuff. More hardcover Marvel stuff. Hardcover independent stuff. Uh, hardcover independent stuff. I just recently got the Parker San Diego one from San Diego Con. There's a hodgepodge of different things in there. Soft cover Marvel. Soft cover. More Hot Wheels. Statues. Bookends characters my Electra thing my blade sword and I'm spinning around the room here more statues okay um, I'm watching TV right now stuff these are books I haven't got a chance to read yet or file away yet uh, different books And there is my collection, as you can see, the past the fan. But these are the file cabinets that I keep the comic books in. And believe it or not, I got rid of books and I'm tightening up my collection. Like I said, right now my collection is at a little over 12,000. So 12,000 books were jammed into these, I wouldn't say jammed, or in these file cabinets. That's a print of uh, the Fox Sisters. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. And more Spawn stuff. Books, um, for some reason, I got them stored in there for some reason. More uh, statues. A vacuum cleaner. Movies. My little desk area that I have down in the basement where you can see my PC. Where the magic happens. More posters. And up here, 
or like figures, Jaws boat, and stuff like that, and Herculoids, great car cartoon. And this is where I put books that I just recently, you know, new issues that I have, I have in the system, but I haven't read them yet. So I store here. All these comic books are brand new. I just haven't had a chance to read them yet. And I divide them up in here in what level when I'm going to read them. As you see, what's on top is what's next I'm going to read. What's on the bottom is what I'm going to, you know, eventually be up at the top. And these are, are the plastic cabinets that I keep books in too. I just haven't brought a file cabinet yet. I figure when I get to a certain point where I got a lot of these, then I buy a new file cabinet. But until then, I just use those as an interim. That rubber case on there is full with Todd McFarlane characters that I'm getting ready to give away. More books. More books. Eventually, uh, once we get done with the remodel of the kitchen and the deck, um, then my project is going to be is is down here in the basement. A lot of these walls are going to get knocked out and spread out and all this other stuff. Get rid of it. My gem equipment. So basically, this is what it looks like to date. I'm going to make another part of this video, but this is the overview. I'm going to go more in detail later. Uh, there's a, a print of Spider-Man that I have, that I have for it. It is huge. Let's give you a good close-up of that. It's actually autographed by Ramirez. And I got to get behind the TV so the other, you see the other autograph. And Alex Ross, but it is actually a pretty cool print. But it is giant, and so I'm gonna do one more once over so you can get a wide shot of the room. Thanks.